Alright, so welcome back everyone. And so in today's video, I thought it would be cool to start a new series on my channel where, where we make an entire book or like sketchbook made out of scratch including the paper, book binding, like making the, the cover. For a while, I really wanted to try book binding, just using regular paper and stuff. But then I realized that I have too much journals and sketchbooks that I need to get through. So I put that off for a while and I was like, maybe one day if I get through all my other books, I can finally do some bookbinding. Then I had an idea where I might be able to justify me making a book if I completely made it out of scratch, including making the paper and then bookbinding it together and completely creating it with my own two hands. I thought that might help justify my, I wouldn't say obsession, but I just have a lot of stuff hand down to me. So my first attempt was using a cigar box and here are so, here's some of the paper I've made. And as you can tell, it's not that, like it has a cool effect, but it's not that clean and nice that I need for like a sketchbook. I'm going to be making this paper out of old notebooks I have, which should make uh, the paper a little thicker and more durable. So without further ado, I thought I can show you my process of making paper for part one of creating a whole book by hand. So the things you need for making paper is a screen for the paper to go through. I just used two canvases that I cut out the uh, canvas. Then I used a staple gun to uh, attach a screen mesh, and I got two of them. Second, you're gonna need something to crush up the pulp or the paper. You can use a blender, but since I don't have a blender that I want to use or to get messy for making paper, I just use a mortal and pestle. Then you're going to need some things to put the paper in to pre-soak my paper with some water to loosen up the fibers. So when I crush it with the mortal and pestle, it's easier. Then you're going to need something to lay the paper on. I just use some hand towels to lay the paper on. And then finally, the most important part is the paper. So this is just an old book I have full of my homework. So this is what I am going to be using for paper. Alrighty then, so now we have the pulp all made. 
So now we just need a big giant tub to put fill the water in. Now I'm just using, this is about like a medium sized tub, but I just want the uh, screen to be just fully submerged. And since it's a small screen, I don't need a giant tub. So now since we have the pulp and the screen and the tub, uh, we can start making the paper. So for me, I just want the screen to be able to be submerged underwater because I make a uh, paper a little differently. So what I do is I take some of the pulp, place it inside the screen, make sure it's all lined up, and I just move it around to break it up. And once I'm satisfied with all the pulp, I just bring it up, take a clean, just a dry hand towel, and when I lift it up, put it under to sort of soak up all the water. And then I bring the paper over here. Then I just press it down to get rid of all the water. Then slowly but surely, I just try to lift it off. And then voila, you can barely see it because it's white on white, but that's a piece of paper. And I can fit about two sheets on each thing and then I'll cover it and then uh, repeat. So without further ado, let's finish it up. So I only got about four pieces of paper out of the amount of pulp that I used. The paper that I used was a little more difficult, especially um, grinding it with the mortar and pestle because it's thicker so it doesn't um, break down easy. That's why if you were to do this, I suggest soaking it in A, hot water and for like overnight or a long time to really break down the fibers in the paper. Or you can just be smart and use a blender, which could also work. But I was not smart and use a mortar and pestle. And then for a few days, my wrist actually really hurt for a while because of the constant grinding. So maybe one day I'll get a blender either from Goodwill or a secondhand person or something. So yeah, that was me making paper for this new series of making a book by hand. I hope you guys enjoy. You can subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you guys next time.